Okay, so we are back in better. Today we are going to wash our makeup brushes. I'm going to show you guys two hacks that, well, one is a hack. The other one is just basic clean your brushes. So the first one is basically, I don't really know what it's called. I'm going to call it like soaking your brushes or like hot water your brushes. Listen, you'll see. So as you can see, grab a big bucket enough to fit all your brushes and beauty blenders in. look at me modeling this bucket right now of water like okay so boom we about to put that in the microwave just fill up with water put it in the microwave and i usually put it for like five minutes and then it's you wow okay we're gonna ignore me modeling oh oh okay so i usually put it for like five minutes and for some odd reason, it usually does not work for me. Um, I put it for like five minutes and then it's just like, I promise you, it's like ice cold. Um, that was my sister going crazy. But like I was saying, see, look at me. I'm about to put it right back in the microwave. I don't know what's going on. Like with me, the water is just, it's freezing cold okay for not freezing we're, we're a bit dramatic just a bit dramatic but it just doesn't work for me but this is me taking it out and i'm about to show you guys like i like when i mean steam boom that's what i mean like i need to see steam and then we're gonna put some dishwashing liquid in oh child leave my leave my stove alone okay so I really thought adding that part in there was going to be so funny, but it was just satisfying to hear it, the noise. It was, it was funny to me. Okay, so you're going to dip your, after you put the dishwashing liquid in, you're clearly going to like stir it up a little bit with the brushes. You make sure they're all face down for some odd reason. They let the float right back up. Ignore my brushes. We're a mess. We're a bit of a mess. And look at that. Ooh, look at that water, Lord. Look at that water. I promise y'all. I clean my brushes on the daily. I lied. I promise y'all, I clean my brushes on the monthly. I lied. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this ooh, the beauty blender. It's the beauty blender for me. Look at it. Look at it fighting to go in the wall. Okay, whatever. So you want to make sure they're all face down, and you're gonna leave them. You're just gonna let them sit, soak a little. You know, just like absorb. You know, just let them let the water do its thing. That's the point. The water is supposed to like take out all the, as you can see from the dirty water, it's supposed to just sit there and do its thing, clean the brush. You can literally see the little bubbles. That's crazy. Wow. Mm. That's a bit nasty. Okay. Not gonna lie. I'm a bit upset because, well, you're supposed to do this method as many times as possible until the water is like clean. That means your brush is clean. Eh. but the first time I did it, it wasn't recording, so you guys couldn't see the water falling in the sink. I know you guys are probably just like, why do we want to see dirty water falling in the sink? <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like that part was satisfying. That's like, the, that's like the best part. Whatever. Okay. You just like seeing all the dirt like leave. Like you about to be clean. clean. Okay. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's just me. Okay. So... Now that we dump the water in the sink, what you want to do a lot with the beauty blender, it's mostly with the beauty blenders, but you want to make sure like that they they just love to fight. They don't want to get the foundation off. They don't. You want to make sure like you rinse some water on top of them, squeeze them. Those, they need their own little method. I need to make a YouTube video, video about just the beauty blenders because them things tough. But the brushes, those are the ones that's just like... You rinse them over some water after you're done. But this is me done, like, cleaning them. And then you're going to go ahead and squeeze out the rest of the water from the beauty blenders. Because clearly, you know. So the second method, which is the everyday cleaning brush method. This one is to get leftover residue from the hot boiling bowl method, whatever. And then there's our brush cleaner. Number one brush cleaner. Liquid blending cleanser yes i will put the link down below to where to get it but i did get it at sephora i don't know if it's number one cleaning brush brand but i highly recommend so you're gonna take a little dime size amount like that with your 
brush cleaner bowl. Then we're gonna just get to scrubbing. So this is the leftover residue from the, well, this is my brush I used to put on my blush. And to see that there's still some leftover product on there shows that the hot boiling bowl method, whatever, we'll find out a name for that, isn't 100% liable. Re whoa, <laughs> reliable, oh my God. Okay, um, I'm gonna clean that counter. Anyways, so we're just gonna continue doing that. And honestly, this helps two ways because I just wanted to show you guys two different ways to clean your brushes. One, the hot water method or whatever you want to call it. And then this one, like the classic method of just cleaning your brushes. But then I realized that you can use both because right now my brushes look a mess. But without the hot water method, you I just realized, you know how bad it would have looked? Like, honestly, ooh. So I feel like even though there's some, some leftover product, clearly, but the hot water method like really helped. All right, I'll just show you guys my contour. Oh Lord, it's them, it's them dishes in the back for me, but whatever. Um, I was just showing you guys my contour brush. That's it. I was just showing you guys how good the liquid blender cleanser is that's a tongue twister try saying that five times but yeah i was just showing you guys how it is and then like i said i was just gonna keep continue doing the dime size amount and then cleaning my brushes all right so this is my foundation brush perfect example of of course it's going to be leftover product the hot water method is isn't going to be 100 percent perfect let me give a shout out to my sister for sh for showing me the hot water method. Look at me sitting here like taking credit for it. Like, you guys, I just found out a new way to clean your brushes. Oh my God. For, before she go down in the comments, talk about you found out a new way to do quads. All right. Um, yes, I said quads. But yes, look at this. This is ridiculous. Now picture if we didn't do the hot water method first. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. To think that this could have been looking worse baffles me. But yeah, um, we just gonna speed past this part. This isn't really important. I don't know if y'all find it satisfying me cleaning my brushes. I know I do, cause who about to put a dirty brush on their face? Um, not around here, sir. No, fine. The fact that this brush wasn't even fully clean after this. But anyways, the third step or whatever step we on, you're going to grab some rubber bands, all right? And then you're going to grab your brushes. You're going to make sure you separate them in a way that when you hang them up, because we're going to hang them up to dry, in a way where when you hang them up that each brush gets some air for they can dry. You can't just have them stacked on top of each other or one is hidden and then they're not getting dry that defeats the purpose so right here i'm showing you how to like tie them and still leave a little bit of space for when you wrap them around your what what is that shower bar thing like the thing that you put your little towel on that i'm gonna show you but basically i'm gonna show you guys like how i part them make sure that i don't put too much in one little group just make sure that they're all secure and yeah This is me forgetting that there was a brush in there and like me trying to find a group for it and then like rinsing out the rest of my beauty blenders. The beauty blenders, honestly, that's a different story. Now the child bar I was talking about, this is where you're gonna take the leftover rubber band that you didn't wrap around your brushes and wrap that around the bar and then right back around your brushes to hang them up. I finally realized that like right here, this is when I realized that, oh, that's a bit far so let me show yeah let me show you what i mean so yeah i try to get like as much as i can to like wrap them around to make sure they're secure for they won't fall 
but yeah that's that was me like <laughs> trying to give y'all a little tutorial I don't know what I'm doing I feel like my face was way too serious so I was just like oh let me pose and smile for them for two seconds and then go right back to a straight face because that makes sense Why am I so dramatic? Listen, honestly, one of the brushes wasn't fully clean. So I, what did I fling? Whatever. So one of the brushes wasn't fully clean. So when I touched it, it was, it was more like looking like a paintbrush. What is up? Stop dancing. What is wrong with me? Okay, whatever. So when I touched it, it like splattered wet foundation on the wall. And I was like, oh yeah, a rubber band hit <laughs> I was like, what is wrong with me? A rubber band hit me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is me modeling it. Yay. We're done. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment for more videos. Bye.